good morning students and welcome to today's maths class so in the previous class we completed with the third chapter that is addition correct so today what we'll do is we'll once again see what all we have learned in addition we'll do a quick revision on addition and solve some problems on it so you all know what we have learned okay and you can remember easily what we have learned all right so let's start with the revision class so first we saw what is addition what is the meaning of addition addition means combining two or more numbers together to find the sum or the total okay so for example if i have two balloons with me and you all have six balloons with you all so to find out how many balloons all of us all together have what we'll do is we'll add all the balloons together so two my balloons and six your balloons so two plus six gives us eight balloons right so this is what is addition combining two or more numbers together to find a sum okay so finding the total or sum by combining two or more numbers so we saw different types of additions also so here what we are going to see here we have two sheeps in a farm okay there were two sheep in a farm then what happened another sheep came and joined them in the farm now how many sheep are there in the farm all together two and the one which joined them one so two plus one three sheep correct so two and one makes three so two and one makes three here and represents addition or add mean and means to add okay so we write it as plus sign so this is the plus sign or this is the addition symbol and we read it as 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 okay how do you read it you read it as 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 okay then you can also write it like this in column 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 okay so this is how what is addition and how you write addition problems okay then we saw the first method of addition that was count and add so what is the meaning of count and add they'll give you some pictures of some images you need to count those uh, objects how many objects are there and then write okay so here we had some bicycles correct so we counted so how many are there here in the first one we have five in the second we have three so five plus three will be equal to eight right so five plus three is equal to eight and then here we have some bananas to find the total number of bananas you will add them so in the first set we have five bananas in the second we have four so five plus four is equal to nine okay and then here we have some oranges in the first set we have four oranges in the second we have three so four plus three so when you add them and count and add them you'll get four plus three is equal to seven okay then we saw various examples here we have these four plus four which is equal to eight then we counted the number of hats so how many hats are there here one two three four five hats so two plus three is five and here we had some colorful eggs right so in the first we had three and in the second set we had six x so three plus six is equal to nine okay then we did add by counting fingers so how will you do addition by counting fingers here we have five plus three or three plus five so in one hand you will hold three fingers in another hand you will hold five fingers and then count so three plus five will give you an eight okay so now you're holding totally eight fingers in your hand so three plus five is eight so same way we did so many examples so we saw three plus one so if you hold three in your hand and then we are doing plus one so if you add one more finger to it now how many fingers you have total open you have four fingers so three plus one four same way now if you open two fingers in one hand then they have told two plus two so you will add two more open two more fingers so when you do that you'll have totally four fingers open which is two plus two four okay and then now two plus one so take two fingers in one hand and then add one more finger to that so now how many fingers are open three so two plus one is three so we saw various examples on adding with fingers also 
then we saw another method addition using tally marks right addition using tally marks what are tally marks tally marks are nothing but lines like this so here we have five so since the number is five we will draw five tallies these lines are called tallies so one two three four and five then five plus two they have told so two so we'll draw two tallies one two so five plus two is equal to how much now we'll count all the tallies so how do you count it you can just write numbers above the tally so this is one then this is two this is three this is four this is five correct then after five we have six so this will be six and this will be seven so how many are there in total we have seven tallies in total so five plus two is equal to seven okay then we saw various examples here also then we have 7 plus 3 here so now when you count tallies here so first you will draw 7 tallies for 7 so here we have 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 correct then here we have 3 tallies so we will count that also so 8 then that is 9 and the last one is 10. So 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Okay. Like this only we saw various questions. Now 2 plus 5 is there here. Right. So 2 plus 5. So what you will do? You will draw 2 tallies first. So this is 1 and this is 2. Then here you will draw 5 tallies because they have given 2 plus 5. So 1, 2, 3, this is 4. And this is 5. So 2 plus 5. When you count, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2 plus 5 is 7. And 5 plus 3. Same way here, you will draw 5 tallies and 3 tallies. So 5 plus 3, you will get 5, 6, 7, 8. So your answer is 8. So 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Alright. And we saw so many examples for that. Now, then we saw adding zeros. What are? adding zeros correct so what are adding zeros adding zero means whenever you add zero to another number you'll get the answer as a number itself because zero means nothing so when you're adding zero to a number you're adding nothing so it will be the number itself so three plus zero so zero means nothing so there's nothing here so three plus zero will give you three only not more not less it will be three only Okay, then we saw 2 plus 0. So, how much is 2 plus 0? 2 plus 0 will be 2. Okay, and then we saw 0 plus 1. How much is 0 plus 1? 0 plus 1 will be 1. Then 0 plus 5. 0 plus 5 also will be 5 only. 0 plus 2, it will be 2. And 1 plus 0 will be equal to 1. So, let's solve these questions that are there. 0 plus 9. How much is 0 plus 9? 0 plus 9 will be 9 and 2 plus 0 2 plus 0 will be 2 0 plus 8 will be 8 0 plus 6 will be 6 1 plus 0 is 1 7 plus 0 will be 7 only 5 plus 0 is 5 10 plus 0 is 10 0 plus 2 is 2 0 plus 1 is 1 6 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 3 is 0 4 plus sorry 0 plus 3 is 3 4 plus 0 is 4 0 plus 1 is 1 and 9 plus 0 is 9. Okay, so this is adding 0. Whenever you add any number to 0, you will get the number itself as the answer. Okay, then we saw addition on number line. So, we did adding on number line. So, we have 3 plus 4 here. So, first what you will do, if you are starting from 0, from 0 you will go to 3 and then from 3 you will count to 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 3 plus 4 gives you a 7. Right? Then we saw so many other examples. So, first you start from 0. From 0 you jump to the next number. So, here they have given 3 plus 3. So, from 0 we will jump to 3. Then, plus 3 they have told. So, we will count in steps to 3. So, 1, 2 and 3. So, how much is 3 plus 3? 3 plus 3 gives you a 6. Okay, and same way now they have told here 2 plus 2 also. So, for 2 plus 2, you jump to 2 first. Right, you jump to 2 first and then you will add in steps of 2. So, uh, steps of 1. So, 1, 
2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, so that is 2 plus 2. So this is how you do addition using number line. Then we saw addition stories. What are addition stories? They'll give you a few stories on numbers and then you have to find add and find all two together or the sum so here we saw so many examples so there are six birds sitting on a tree three more come and join okay how many birds are there in all so there were six birds on a tree okay so three more came there so six plus three is how many nine so there are nine birds there now so john had seven coins his father gave him three more how many coins does join have now so seven he had already then his father gave him three coins so seven plus three now he has ten coins okay now joe has balloons and uh, five balloons and mary has six how many balloons they have in all that is five plus six is equal to eleven okay so now what we'll do is we'll see a few questions on additions <music> 